All right, guys, welcome back. It's Ethan from Vapors Canada. Today we are talking about the Geek Vape Weenax. I just call it the Geek Vape Weenax. In literal terms, it's called the Weenax Stylus. I don't know why it's called a stylus. It's not a stylus, but Geek Vape Weenax, pretty cool concept, very simple AO, um, kind of all in one kit from Geek Vape. Kind of going back to trying to appeal to some OG vapors with that nice mech feel. The button here is on the bottom. I actually really like that, that's pretty cool. It also has auto draw as well, so for people who are just looking for a nice new starter kit just coming into vaping, they don't have to try and press that button while they're vaping because I don't think they're gonna know to have to hold it like that. Um, they can just simply take a puff on it, good to go. Uh, it is a pod system, but with removable coils, it's not a uh, um, proprietary coil. It does use the G coils, which are the same coils that go in the Geek Vape Aegis uh, pod, or the, I call it the Aegis AO pod. Um, good coils, 0 0.6 ohm. It also comes with a 1.2 ohm, which was the new G coil they released with this guy. And the, pods, the pod itself too, something pretty cool that not a lot of manufacturers do. They usually keep the tip proprietary, Tip is removable on this guy, and it also comes with an extra one as well, a different kind of mouth to lung tip. And then filling method is on the side, which is pretty cool. So we'll dive down, we'll take a look at this guy, just a very simple starter kit. Uh, we'll give it a vape and I'll give you guys my thoughts. All right guys, so we're back with the Geek Vape Weenax, Weenax Stylus, like I said, I just call it the Weenax. Uh, pretty simple packaging from Geek Vape. To me, this almost looks like Vaporesso packaging. It's uh, a lot of companies are biting each other's style in different areas that we don't really uh, pay too much attention to. But this very much so looks like uh, Vaporesso packaging. I like it though, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, you know, someone might have already done it. Uh, but yeah, not bad, good on you Geek Vape. Usually we see out of Geek Vape those really boring, just kind of black and white packages with a little bit of orange for the Geek Vape, and you're like, oh cool, it's Geek Vape. No, is it any different than anything we've been seeing uh, recently? With this, you can tell Geek Vape's trying to do some different stuff, be a little different, right? So good on them, so we'll get this open here. Nice, just pull out. So that's definitely your box of goodies, charger, coil probably as well. Oops, I opened it upside down. So everything just kind of fell apart there, but you get the gist of it. It's gonna come like that, pod, battery, coil, right? One of the things you do get in this little goodie bag here is a little tiny tool. It almost looks like a little wrench. Uh, basically that's for getting your coil out of here, right? The coil does sit pretty, pretty flush and pretty tight in there. So you probably will need that tool to get that coil out. So we'll grab that tool. Usually comes in the little, yep, little plastic bag that's in the goodie box there. You also get that other drip tip I was telling you about. Uh, a little more mouth to lung style, tighter kind of cigarette feel, right? So you are able to change out that drip tip if you so please. We'll get this little wrench out of here. All right, so this little guy, kind of weird looking, but all it's for is basically to get that coil up. You're just gonna kind of wedge it up, right? You're gonna to wanna to hold on to this, make sure you don't lose this. I've found even when the coils have been saturated, it is still a little tough to get that coil out of there. So all that does is pop it up enough so that you can grab onto her. Oh, we gotta pop it up a little more. It's gonna be a little difficult to get it out the first time because those O-rings are dry. It won't be nearly this difficult once you've run some juice through the pod. Just grab that coil, come on. Holy, this thing's fighting me. There we go. So it won't be nearly that hard once you've run some juice through here a few times, um, but when the, the O-rings on the coils there are dry, it does tend to be a little difficult, right? So we'll get this juiced up. I'm gonna use some Salt God's Athena. So these G coils, like I was saying, they are the same as the ones that come in uh, with the Geek Vape Aegis AO. Uh, this one that we're gonna be putting in is the 0 0.6, but the extra one that you get in here, I believe is the 1.2. So a little bit of a tighter draw and also a little bit, uh, little bit lighter of a hit as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll juice this up. Very small coil, so don't be too hard on it with the juice. All right, hit the ports on the outside, and then we just wanna do one quick drop down the middle. I'll put that there. And then we're just gonna pop it right back in the pod here. All right, just like so. And then we can fill it up from the side with this little grommet here. The rubber stoppers are always the hardest part for me, but that actually comes off pretty easy. So if you have a trouble with those little rubber stoppers, just know I do too, but that was pretty simple. We'll go ahead and put some juice in it. Now this pod doesn't hold very much, but it also doesn't, you know, 
take a lot of juice every hit. These are small coils, so you don't have to worry about the capacity too much on this guy. It's not really that big of a deal. I'd be the first one to point out like, hey, this is way too small. You're gonna be filling your pot every 10 minutes. But to be honest with this guy, it's not a huge deal. It's not a huge factor. I wouldn't worry too much about it. We'll go ahead and pop the battery out there. So this just goes in like so. You get a nice click and your button's on the bottom. Turn it on, one, two, three, four, five. Should light up. And then it does have three different uh, variable voltage settings. I believe it's one, two, three. Yep, one, two, three. And it'll change between the three different ones. Right there, right? And one of the things that's cool about this guy is you get a different power hit if you press the button and take a vape or if you just auto draw. When you just auto draw, it's a little bit lighter. When you press the button, it comes through a little heavier. So that's pretty cool. And the overall look of the actual device, very nice. Very nice finish on it, almost kind of like a pearlescent. Uh, and then it says stylus there and then Weenax there as well. So let's bring it back up on top. I'll give it a vape and we'll give you guys my thoughts. All right, guys, we're back on top with the Geek Vape Weenax pod system. I almost said Geek Vape Aegis. It just, it's, I'm so used to saying Aegis. There's like six Aegises now. The Geek Vape Weenax stylus pod system. Um, so this guy, like I showed you, very small coil, so I wouldn't be too worried about that juice capacity thing we were talking about. It does only hold probably, I believe, I'm gonna guess three mils at most, maybe two and a half, but that isn't a huge problem. When you're dealing with small coils, they're not intaking a lot of juice, so I wouldn't worry too much about running through your pod, having to constantly fill up your pod. If you're a moderate to heavy vapor, you might find yourself filling this guy once a day, if that, uh, but no more than once a day, I can almost guarantee. Like I said, button on the bottom there, we, do, uh, we are able to switch between voltages, three different presets by triple clicking the button there, five clicks to turn it on, of course, and then also you have auto draw. So we're gonna give it a try with the button, and then we're also gonna give it a try with just auto draw, see how it goes, okay? So let's give the button a try first. We have salt gods in here, 24 milligram salt nicotine. Salt nicotine you can use in this guy. You might find the hit to be a little hard with the 0.6. I like a heavier hit, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. If you wanna use salt nicotine and just have a comfortable hit, just make sure you use the 1.2, the other one that comes with it, okay? So let's give it a hit with the button this time. Fresh coil, Woo. As you can see, you can't even hear me hitting that. Do the button again. Very, very, very tight draw. The 0.6 is gonna be more open than the 1.2. I haven't tried the 1.2 myself, so I can only imagine how tight that hit's actually gonna be. So keep that in mind. Even with the 0.6, this is a very, very tight draw. Almost very like identical to a cigarette. With that 1.2 that comes with it, it's gonna be an even tighter draw. Looking at it, that's exactly why. You probably can't even see that, but right under the power um, kind of light there, there's the tiniest, tiniest little hole. And then on the other side, there's another tiny, tiny, tiny little hole. So that is your airflow, like a pinhole on either side. Very, very tight draw. So that was the hit with the button. Uh, let's do that one more time just to see what vapor we get. Now we'll try it again without the button. So keep in mind, it is different. You get a heavier hit when you hit the button and a little bit lighter when you just use auto draw. Little bit lighter, right? I don't feel too much of a difference. I can see the difference, but I don't feel too much of a difference in the actual hit. Regular micro USB charging, as far as I'm aware, there is pass through, so you can use this while you're charging. I never encourage people to use their device while it's charging. It's not necessarily healthy for it, but if you're in a pinch and you have to, what can you do, right? It's not gonna kill it if you do it once. It's just not necessarily great to do all the time, right? Um, all in all, I am a fan of this guy, especially for people just switching on to vaping. It's a great, simple little starter kit. And the authenticity to the way a cigarette feels um, for the actual hit and the draw with how tight it is, is pretty much bang on. So these would be great for people just switching over, just getting started, who want a little bit more control, not something quite as simple as, you know, the aloe disposables that we talked about. Um, something a little more complex where they can change their coils and have different coil options and can also change their power level, right? So that's it, guys. That's the Geek Vape Weenax, the Geek Vape Weenax Stylus. And uh, thanks for watching. We will catch you in the next video. Time to make the change. Vapers Canada. Vapers Canada.